individual sports. Now, let's talk about individual sports. When a person can do a sport alone, one person, we call that an individual sport. Individual sport. Okay? Individual means one person. Okay? Now, let's look at some names for individual sports. Here we go. Bowling. Bowling. Hiking. Hiking. Ice skating. Ice skating. Sailing. Sailing. Scuba diving. Scuba diving. Skiing. Skiing. Look at the spelling of this, okay? This is not an English word, so it's skiing, two eyes together, special. And swimming, swimming, okay? So again, bowling, hiking, ice skating, sailing, scuba diving, skiing, and swimming. Notice with swimming there's two M's, swimming, okay? Now, we don't say that we play these sports. We don't say play. No. Okay? There's two ways we can do it. Let's talk about the first one. We use go plus the ing part of this. So we've seen these, ing. Okay? So uh, let me give you some examples. Uh, let me write them here. So this is what we, how we say that we do these sports. I go ice skating every winter. I go ice skating every winter. Go ice skating every winter. You go sailing in the summer. You go sailing in the summer. Go mm -mm ing. Okay? He goes, goes scuba diving on weekends. He goes scuba diving on weekends. We go swimming, two M's, at the beach. We go swimming at the beach. You, you, usually go skiing in Switzerland, the Alps. Okay? You usually go skiing in Switzerland. And they sometimes go hiking in the country. This is outside the city. They sometimes go hiking in the country. So again, I go ice skating every winter. You go sailing in the summer. He goes scuba diving on weekends. We go swimming at the beach. You usually go skiing in Switzerland. They sometimes go hiking in the country. Okay? Now, these are all with go, the name of the sport, ing. Okay? Go, mm, mm ing. All right. Now, I want to talk about prepositions with this, with these. And let me give you some examples. We use prepositions of place or location. And this is very important. Okay? We use uh, 
We do not use prepositions of direction, only prepositions of place or location, okay? So, again, prepositions of place or location are used after go plus sport name plus ing. Look, we go swimming at the beach. We go swimming at the beach, not to, not to the beach. We go swimming at the beach, not to the beach. Another example, you usually go skiing in Switzerland. You usually go skiing in Switzerland. Not to, not to, in Switzerland. And they sometimes go hiking in, in the country. In, not to, okay? So we use prepositions of location, not direction. To is direction. Okay, now let's look at these action verbs a little bit differently and I'll show you a different way that you can use them without ing. Now we saw go mm -mm, ing. This one is without ing. We can use the simple present verb to talk about these sports and here are some examples. I ice skate every winter. I ice skate every winter. It's the same. It's a different way, but it's the same meaning. You sail on the lake. You sail on the lake. We bowl every Friday night. We bowl every Friday night. I scuba dive once a month. That means every month one time. I scuba dive once a month. I never swim after I eat lunch. I never swim after I eat lunch. It's bad for the stomach. She skis in Germany. She skis in Germany. Now again, this is special. This is not English. So only this one, I-S. It's very special, okay? And finally, they hike in the mountains. They hike in the mountains. So again, I ice skate every winter. You sail on the lake. We bowl every Friday night. I scuba dive once a month. I never swim after I eat lunch. She skis in Germany, they hike in the mountains, okay? So these are the same as go mm -mm, ing, except it's just a different way that you can do it. Okay, now I'm going to ask some questions about individual sports, and I'm going to ask the assistants. You can use go mm -mm, ing, ing, or you can use the simple present like this. Okay, so let's start with Susan. Susan, when do people go scuba diving? People scuba dive in the, in the summer. In the summer, yes. My sister goes scuba diving in the Red Sea. Mm, nice place. Isabel, do you ski? Yes, I go skiing every winter. Mm. And Ali, do you go sailing? Yes, I go sailing with my father. And where do you go sailing? 
we often sail on the Marmara Sea near Istanbul. Oh, very nice. Okay, now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Isabel goes skiing on the weekends. I never go ice skating. We don't go skiing in the summer. We swim in the summer. They go sailing every weekend. Do you go hiking often? Read and repeat. <laughs> 